Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to use the persistent integer. Because I know you guys want to see how that works. So, I built two levels here to show you how it works properly. Go to edit. This is really easy to set up, by the way. So I got right here, integer 0, set to 0. When I kill one enemy, it'll add 1 to that integer. So I'll buy 3. I put the variable here for it's right there. I label it as HH, it's just for the hell of it. <coughs> That's how you know it's there. And I gotta set up the second level. So it's demo two. And the thing is this you absolutely have to publish your levels for this to work. If you don't, it's not gonna work. Now the reason why is because you have to be in that server or that lobby for that to continue working. So as you leave that lobby or that server, that's it. It resets all over again. So you got to start over. Alright. So you got three enemies here. Let's exit. Let's leave. Let's exit. We'll go to demo two. I'll show you what's in here. No enemies, but I got the integer here. Now if you look, it's set to zero. Okay. Exit. Now I published both of these levels so I can show you how it works, because if they're not published, it won't work. So let's go here. Let's find uh, demo one. Here we go. Start our mission. Come on, come on, load up. <laughs> okay, if you look up there on our HUD, it says we got to score three right now. Exit the level. And we continue to demo two. This is where it looks cool. Watch this. Level starts up. Now watch our heads up display. See, we still got three. And like I said to you earlier, it was at zero. And that is how you get that to work. Now, the thing you got to remember is that when you're uh, when you when you play this in a series of levels, you have to stay on that server or that lobby for this to continue to work. So, as you leave that server or that lobby, it resets to zero, as I will show you right here. I'll load up that level again, put on the state. No, not there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to load up that level again, just by itself. And as you see, it'll be at zero when I get in there. And when it loads up, it's back to zero. Why? Because we left that server. Okay? 
So that's proof that you get that to work between multiple levels and you can carry your stats over from a level to another. As long as you stay on that same server, it'll still work. If you're not, it'll reset. So there's a little bit of a trick to that. <clears throat> now the question is, what do you do with it? Okay. Let's go uh, here, edit. <clears throat> well, get rid of those guys. Okay. <clears throat> it works like any other integer. Let's change, it'll activate something. So let's say, um, let's get a sound effect in here. Two speakers. There we go. <laughs> so when I kill that enemy, it'll trigger something when I level up at all. Yeah, you can make it activate stuff if you know what you're doing with it. <clears throat> you can also use uh, in, uh, integer compare with that, and it will go in that. <clears throat> you can use that to have it uh, activate certain things. Like, uh, for instance, uh, I, I met a fan uh, yesterday, I think it was, and he told me, yeah, you can actually use this. And if you put like an integer compare, And let's say you want to use that integer, have it equal, let's say, like 2. And if it equals 2, in your next level, you can make it give you... Like, uh, well, maybe not that. Uh, you can make it give you a weapon in the next level. So let's say like you got the chain gun, and you want to make sure you still got it. Well, you can use it so that when you pick up the chain gun, you know, set this to 2. And then it'll give you that chain gun to the next level. So there's one one way you can use it. Basically, it's just like any other integer. If you know how to use an integer, this is the same thing. It's just that it now crosses over from level to level if you're in the same server. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're using this thing. So if you want to make full single player campaigns and keep your stats as you go through it, that's what that's used for. And you might be able to find other uses for it too while you're at it. So with that being said, hope this was helpful, and you all take care.